Big Screen Science was a project which gave secondary school students around the UK an opportunity to explore the moral and ethical issues of biomedical science through filmmaking. The film which follows is a documentary looking at how a former student who now uses a wheelchair explores the various possibilities offered by the controversial stem cell research. We'll be hearing from a group of Year 10 students from Belfast about their involvement in the project and this will be followed by the completed 10-minute film that they made. We chose stem cells as in our research because one of the past pupils of the school, Craig McMillan, suffered a really terrible injury. He broke his neck and was paralysed and we just thought that we would try and investigate it and see what there is, what possibilities there are for him. We had met with him several times prior to even filming and from that we were able to see what we could do and what way we could explore this issue. It's a totally different way of looking at somebody's personal story through filmmaking and there's so much potential in it and we just thought it'd be a brilliant experience just to try something new. Okay, one, one of those. Right. We went to Queen's University in Belfast and we spoke with different scientists there who were um, briefed on different topics of stem cells and um, were either researching or, um, or had been involved in things related, in related topics. In the planning there was researchers and in the film and then there was the sound, the sound crew and the lighting and the person who operated the camera and then there was the person who asked the questions when we were doing interviews and then in the editing there was the people who like sorted through it and recorded everything. The people that I worked with, um, I didn't really know them that well. They were in my biology class, but um, after a while, um, we became pretty good friends. And after we figured out which, what each other believed and their different views, um, we kind of got pretty close. And I think that that closeness was really good in making the film because we were, um, we were working together, not just as a, as a bunch of children, but just as friends. We barely knew each other. Um, at the beginning and three weeks later we knew each other considerably better. Uh, it helped because you were spending such a long period of time on a completely new task that we've never done before. Although what he does want to do is expand. So you need to try and pretend you are that person and how do you feel about this business? The fact that we all had different views, we were able to tell each other and we were able to talk about it and hearing people's views helps you analyse your own um, so you can make a decision for yourself as well. At the beginning of the project, I, as a strong Christian myself, I would have believed that taking cells from a, an embryo would have been murder. But whenever you actually meet someone like Craig and you see what a really amazing person and how brave he's been, despite what's happened to him. Do you want a wee hand, Craig? You know, there's so much he wants to do in his life that he's going to find it harder to do now with his disability. And it really makes you think that, you know, as much as it might not be right that if there's anything you can do for someone as special as Craig, then, you know, we should really try and do it. My personal view was made up before the film was made. Um, whenever I heard about it, I thought, how can that be right? But then after um, I got involved with the film, it started to make me think, um, especially about if I was in that situation, what would I do? We weren't just reading it out of books, we were seeing it firsthand how stem cells could really affect someone's life. I think filming is a really good way to teach um, children. It's new and it's, it's not normal, it's different and it's definitely going to make an impact in the way that they learn. They're always going to remember it, it's always going to be an excellent way to teach. Um, I think it is, beats a teacher any day. <laughs> I got injured playing rugby when I was 17 at Ballyclare High School. I broke my neck where it instantly severed my spinal cord and rendered me paralysed. At the minute I am using every muscle that works, so if there's a possibility of enhancing what I've got, I'm going to look at it.
I'm suffering with spinal cord injury. I have to deal with this every day. I struggle with everyday simple tasks, which many others just have no problems with. If there's the possibility of stem cell therapy giving me an advantage, helping me to be more independent, then why is it not available? Embryonic stem cells, I believe, are wrong because it's, well, it's taken a life. Adult stem cells, I feel, um, are fine. If they can um, develop them in some way, then I see no problem in it. As a Christian, I believe that everything happens to me for a reason. And I would have a problem with the abortion side of embryonic stem cell therapy. My beliefs are that stem cell research isn't really that big of an issue because it is helping someone's life by taking a life that's not even happening yet. Would stem cell therapy give me enough mobility back? Would I be able to walk again? Th these questions are not known. Obviously, everybody wants to strive to become better, to become more what they used to be, to be more independent. And if there's a way to do that, then why is it not being researched more? Why is the funding not there? As a quadriplegic, walking isn't my first most important objective uh, because I don't have function in all four limbs. The most important thing would be to first of all get back a bit of function in my arms to allow me to be more independent. If there's an operation or treatment available to improve my level of function, well then, I knew it would work. It would definitely be a possibility and I'd probably want to go for it. The real problems with stem cell therapy are ethical issues and it seems to be financial issues. Um, unless the government gives funding for research, then n nothing's really gonna be able to be achieved. What are stem cells? Stem cells are really cells that haven't decided what they want to be when they grow up. And we all began life as a stem cell, a fertilised egg, which then begins to divide. And each of the daughter cells produced then become progressively more and more specialised to become, for example, liver or muscle or uh, brain. Much in the same way as the plants around us have decided whether their cells will become part of the petal or part of the, the leaf or part of the stem of the plant. How can this help me? Well, there's quite a lot of research going on into how these stem cells can be used to actually regenerate tissues that have been damaged or lost through disease. So um, there's a possibility that stem cells could be induced to regenerate spinal cord injuries and help to reconnect your nervous system across the, the break. And in that way, uh, perhaps, you know, it could help you regain the use of your limbs again. Is this therapy available? No, it is really a very long way away from clinical availability. And why not? The research will take a very long time and it's also extremely costly. And over and above that then there's the issue of the ethics behind the use of the embryonic stem cells where we'd be using fertilised human egg to generate stem cells and some people feel this is an inappropriate um, use. At conception a soul is formed and if you destroy that well then it is an abortion and you are killing a life that could come into the world and you're stopping that from happening. And I just, I can't see that being right. And would I have to rely on embryonic stem cells? No, stem cells have actually been discovered in adults as well. And these are cells which have gone part of the way towards forming the tissue, but not the whole way. And these might be particularly useful in spinal cord injury, uh, where the cell itself could be actually taken from the person with the injury. You are not an accident. You are not here by chance. That mother and that father that you have are given to you by God. This is the principle of providence. God knew and planned and ordained everything that was going to happen to you. This is what Psalm 139 says. All the days ordained for me. 
were written in your book before one of them came to be. I think for me the issue is, is it right to use the cells of aborted fetuses? Some people argue that since the fetus has already been aborted, far better to, to, to use the cells for positive purposes. I think they're dangerous with that. And I think that there's a very thin line there and scientists need to be very careful they don't cross that line and start killing life or taking life in order to save life. How do you think that scientists should be guided? I think for scientists, the, the overriding concern is the science and how to develop and, and grow and expand their knowledge of, of scientific issues. Scientists are very keen to get the funding for embryonic stem cell research because there is the possibility of them actually almost becoming embryo forms, actually producing embryos for purposes of research and almost selling them like commodities eventually. And so what I, the stuff that I was reading was suggesting that, um, that scientists in general are not making enough of adult stem cell research because ultimately there can be more profit to be made in embryonic stem cell research. So maybe there's more to come from adult stem cell research than has been adequately explained so far. Try and hold up there, Craig. Don't a wee hand, Craig. Well done. Well, How long is it since you've done this? A while. Well done. At present in my life, the most important thing is to strive to be more independent. I personally cannot wait around for a stem cell therapy to become available. I live here and now at the present and therefore I want to live my life to the max.